Well, hello there. Welcome to the Intoxicated Flamingo. I am your host, Jen. Thank you for being patient with me. Those of you who stuck around while I, I took some time off to deal with personal things. So one of the things that happened, my husband and I finally decided to sell our house. My house was, since it's not ours anymore, uh, 45 minutes away from here, which when I was working was five minutes over there. <laughs> So, so for the last couple of years, I've been sharing an apartment with my son and his girlfriend. And, and then on the weekends that my husband was home, we'd be at the house. Well, gas prices and other things going on, and it's just, it's not feasible to stay at two separate places anymore. So the house needed a lot of work. It was a foreclosure that we had bought a few years back and it just needed too much work. And, you know, I was one of those as a kid. Uh, I always wanted to buy the old farmhouse and fix it up. Oh my God, that would be so cool. Yeah, no, it's out of my system now. I don't want to do that. That's too much work. I, I can do the cosmetic stuff. You know, I can paint walls. I can clean. Oh, it needs a fridge? Okay, I can go buy a fridge. You know, that's that's not a big thing. So, so this is now my only room. <laughs> and I have to share it with my husband. So he has his own hobbies that he does and this right here is one of the smaller hobbies that he does and it is a little rc car and he is he's he is addicted to these rc cars the way i am addicted to i don't know crafts my material i'm always buying material i don't know if any of you are aware of it would have been early 2000, 2004, 2005, somewhere in there, zip zaps. I think he has all of them. So I'm going to show you one that is my favorite. This is the RC cars that my husband really loves. He's got dragsters. He's got a Chevy truck that has the little wheelie bars on the back and it, She's got a couple of cars that they go so fast. He he has a hard time. He's like those are squirrely, and he knows that some some of them need need a uh, practice practice controlling them. There's certain things, but this one I I love this one just because of all the little gadgets. I'm gonna go over real quick. most of this is Traxxas is what he prefers. So if anybody who is familiar with it, these are not gas power. These are lithium batteries. I think he has one that's gas. I know he has one that's nitro. That's all I know. Um, so he's got the little winch. He's got the little winch on the front that actually works. He has his tow cable that goes down the whole thing. You've got your little emergency, you know, if you need to EMS somebody out. It also has, boy, the suspension on this thing, holy cow, this one can climb really slow over rocks and stuff. So it's got his little gas cans. There is a fire extinguisher back here. There's the little, there's a shovel and a, uh, oh, he's got his little jacks over here. I mean, it's insane the crap that's on here. And I'm going to tell you right now, all the lights work. All of them. He turns this thing on. He can light up the house. He doesn't. He doesn't need a flashlight. He can just turn this thing on. So, needless to say, things are a little cramped in here, and I'm realizing I'm slightly claustrophobic. So, I I have just I knew things were going to be tight. I didn't know they were going to be this tight. I don't know where I'm going to put things. I. I really don't. This is, and he even came home this last time. He's like, I love you, but I need my own room. And I'm like, yeah, you do. You drum up like my hat. I got my little swimming hat. I've got all kinds of hats going. I was belching up a storm a little bit ago. And now, nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, so. Getting my stuff out, getting things prepped. Oh, that was weak. That was so weak. So, um, so anyways, what I'm doing this week, I found this at Hobby Lobby uh, back in the kids section. So it was suggested that maybe I let people know where 
I've gotten my stuff from in case you're interested and want to play with some of the stuff. I mean, I don't do it. I don't mind. I, so this is um, almost gone. <laughs> I was working on that while I was prepping. And while I was prepping, I was watching, I've been binging X-Files. Do not watch them before bed. Oh my gosh. Last night, I just wanted to go to sleep, but I really wanted to finish the episode that I was on. And of all episodes to finish off on, they're in, they're in Florida in the middle of a hurricane. And there is a gelatinous creature that lives in the sewers. And now it's coming up through the sewers and dissolving people. And I... <laughs> I'm like, I mean, at least, at least it wasn't raining last night. I was like, oh my gosh, I just need to get through this episode. And you know what I really hate? Okay, so you have X Files, Supernatural, and Grimm. Grimm was one of those two that everything always happens in the dark at night. Nobody has a flashlight. Nobody has a good flashlight. My flashlight would, it would light it up. So you can't watch it during the day because you got to turn off lights. You got anything that has a light source. You got to turn them all off. You got to make it as dark as you can. And even then, you still got to strain to see what's going on in the scene. <sighs> I understand the creep factor, but does everything have to be so damn dark? And does it always have to happen at night? I mean, even CSI, you know, I understand. You don't want to flip on lights and stuff, but come on. It's dark outside. Turn the lights on, damn it. So, so I am doing Backpack Buddies, and these, these, I thought, famous last words, uh, they can't be that hard. It says for six and up, but it has four different designs in here, and it did come with the different four cords and four little lanyard clips and all the beads. They're stuck. They're stuck so bad. I'm going to try this stuff. So there's other things I'm wanting to try. And I need your help. And anything that you know of that I could use, please put it in the comments if it's a particular brand or something. So what I'm wanting to do is play video games. But I need to be able to record what's on the screen, and then I also will record myself. I know that there may be two separate com um, computers, cameras going. I don't always use the Xbox. I do have one, but I don't always use it. Sometimes they use my laptop, and there's other times I want to just use the TV. So I have an old, uh, it's not an old Nintendo system. It's a, bleh, I got my hair on my nose the uh, Nintendo system that you could buy and it had 150 games already pre-programmed on it and I thought that would be so much fun to get one of those and drink and just play either by myself. I would love to have a friend with me. <laughs> those of you that are my friends that know me, any of you that don't mind being seen on camera, get with me. Let me know, please. <laughs> just <laughs> My family's killing me. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, yes, yeah, so I don't have to do a not yet. Because, okay, so it has me starting at this end with the lanyard. And then we're going to put the beads on. And, okay, call me chicken. <laughs> but I decided to go with the snake. Because I figured that's the easiest one to do. They've got a frog. A, a couple of lizards. One I know is a frog. I need, I need to keep it as simple as possible, especially with, uh, oh, look, I got another bead run anyway. Oh, my God. So, anyway, so it kind of shows. Oh, see, it's a good thing. I saw that. They start at the, so the tail at this part, the tail of the snake, and then his tongue will be at the front. I was just getting ready to shove that red one on, and that's not what I want. I need three of these little guys. So it's almost, almost like Legos. Oh, but what I was asking earlier, sorry, squirrel, um, is, is if you know, good program. 
that I could use either. I, I would mostly like something that I could just plug in to the um, the TV and it records or or something. I honestly, oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna split it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do one of the dark green. And it goes through one side, and the other side goes, woo! <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, oh, this is ah! almost too long. Everything's trying to get away. But anyways, when, when it comes to the technology, I'm a little lost. Um... This isn't like plastic cord, like what I was expecting. This is almost like rope. I think this is probably way too long, but you know what? We have learned in the past, Jen don't need to start cutting right away. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, if I can do this, anybody can. Okay, so far so good. So I tried years ago, I tried doing like beaded earrings, a little uh, diamond shape and stuff. Those are teeny tiny, those are not for me. Now what do I do? I've got two of these and we're gonna go, this goes through that side and then this goes through, oh Lord. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Uh, get through there. So my son, my son watches a lot of YouTube channels. One that he has recently gotten me hooked on is Ordinary Sausage. Even if you watch only one episode of him, you have to watch The Carolina Reaper. That one, I was laughing so hard. I mean, I was crying. The, oh, he's he's great. Um, makes he makes sausage out of all kinds of odd things. Some some I can't watch. Some make me sick. And then his voice. He has the craziest voice ever. And I couldn't place it. And my husband heard it. He's all Gilbert Godfrey. He sounds just like Gilbert Godfrey. And it's funny because younger people say, no, he sounds like uh, the dad on Family Guy. I don't know his name. I don't watch him. I don't, I don't like Family Guy. I don't, I don't find them funny. Sorry, I just, I don't. I, I love physical comedy. I do, I don't mind some of it when you're playing, playing with words. Wordplay, there we go. That one's fun as well, probably because my dad did that to me all the time growing up. Oh my God, I should be in therapy. I really should. But it's, it's what makes me who I am. You know, we probably all need therapy. I, um, so wasn't the story I was planning on sharing, but since we've gone down this rabbit hole, how many of these do I do? One, two. I almost need like a chip. Ooh, pencil. Okay, I've got that one and that one. Okay, I'm going to do two brown and green. And, uh, okay, so 15 years old, my dad comes to me and he's, he's very serious about something he heard on the radio and it, it has him extremely concerned. And he said, um, He's like, Jen, you're a woman. That's always a great way to start up a conversation with your father. I said, yes. He's like, well, he said, I need you to answer a question for me. And being that you're a woman, you'll probably know the answer. Okay. He proceeds to tell me that he heard on the radio that this woman had been shot and the bullet was in her yet. Okay. What's your question? Well, where's the woman's yet? I'm a man. I don't have it yet. So it must be a female thing. No, 
dead, the, the bullet was still in her. Yes, still in her yet. So where's the yet? Where, where is your yet? I, no, 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 Dad. It's not. Sorry, I'm trying to find something I can shove in here because my, my stuff's getting frayed. Yeah, it's supposed to go that way. And I, I kept explaining to him, Dad, that they're letting you know that the woman was shot and the bullet is still within her. Yeah, yet. It's in her yet. I'm telling you, this went on for like 15 minutes. Drove me nuts. And when I tell people about it, if my dad's there, the cycle starts all over again. I'm like, oh my gosh, dad, I am telling you, ah, there we go. It's not part of her anatomy. Well, then why would they say it? Oh my gosh. That was my life growing up. My dad. Where's her yet? No, no, no. Uh, oh. Fudge sickles. No, you gotta... Okay, we may not finish the whole thing. Oh, looky. Oh, that one just slid right in there. I'm telling you, this is different when you do this. And they're about this big. You know, when you could breathe and accidentally suck it down your throat. <laughs> so speaking of beads... <laughs> I, um, years ago, I, I had something going on in, in my, um, my, okay, so, anyway, yeah, beads, oh, oh, I'm sorry, the burps just aren't coming today, they, I have had some hellacious ones earlier, so, my ear, my one ear was bothering me. We lived in Colorado, and a friend that I worked with, my good friend Heather, she, um, I, I had, I kept telling her, it sounded like something in my ear. I could hear something, like, moving in my ear. And she said, you know, spiders are known to get in your ear and lay eggs. She said, that might be what you're hearing, is spiders. Why would you tell me that? Why, why would you do that? Okay, I'm going to let you know now. You do this. Long tweezers. They really help. Woo, sand double. <laughs> it was a little out of focus there. Um, so she, she's telling me, you know, there's probably a, a spider living in your ear. I'm like, no. So, you know, I'm going to town with Q-tips tell my husband about it and he's like you know I've heard of that happening I'm like really my best friend and my husband are both telling me about spiders in my ear like, why why I hate you people and he uh I, I made an appointment for the doctor's office now why is it when you go to the doctor's office and you tell them why you're there why, why bother asking if you're going to ask me every flipping time somebody new sees me? And why are you here? Didn't the person before you write this down? Why do I have to say it out loud? I never heard so many people laughing in my life. Okay, well, I have, but not at a doctor's office. So they, um, what was it they did? They uh, went to the doctor's to schedule an appointment. Why do you want to be seen? What's your reason for your appointment? Is that because I think there's a spider in my ear? No, what? And I told him, you know, I, I'm hearing things in my ear, and my husband and my friend have told me that I probably have a spider living in my ear. I need you to look in there and tell me that no, I do not have a spider in my ear. And they were laughing so hard. And then the nurse comes in, she asks, it's like, okay, I already told the lady at the front desk, I'm telling you, I had to explain it to the doctor. And the doctor, oh my God, like I said, so much laughter. The doctor is looking at me and she looks in my ear and she's like, you know, it's super clean in there. She's like, I don't see nothing in here. And I told her, I said, that's because I was taking that damn Q-tip. And I was just sitting there just trying to kill whatever is in my ear. She's like, okay, first off, don't do that. And she said, you don't. 
you do not have anything living in your ear. I had fluid build up. There was fluid in my ear. And she said, what you're hearing is, you know, when you've been sleeping on one side, it all goes to that side. And then when you get up, what you're hearing is the fluid running back down. I thought, thanks. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, honey. Appreciate it. Yeah, no spiders. So many years, many, many years go by. And Heather and I are on the phone talking to each other. And she had her youngest son was a baby at the time. He's, I know he's at least graduated high school now. But um, what was it? She, um, she was playing with the baby. And there's a pillow. She, it's going to have to wait. There was a pillow that had um, beaded fringe on it. And one of the beads popped up and it went right in her ear. And she couldn't get out. And the first half, I, I'm sorry, but I just started laughing. I'm like, oh, 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 if you shake your head, can you hear it rattle around? She couldn't. She couldn't. She had to go to the doctor and they had to, they had, you know, use the, they had to get it out of there. But I thought, karma. It may have taken it a while, but damn it. Tell me I have a spider in my ear. Okay, there's one, two, so it's three. That's one. This is two. This is that token of a hair. So, yes, my hair's a little shorter. I, uh, I got it cut professionally. So, it had it been three years. So, yes, I got quite a bit. Three inches is what they took off. And you know what? I can't wait for my birthday. Oh, my gosh. When my birthday comes up this year, I have been wanting. There is a bar downtown called that 80s bar. Oh, my gosh. I so want to go. And oh, Come on. Nothing wants to work. I <laughs> Get in there. Whew. I've almost had too much. Everything's gone soft. Um, what order? One, two, three. Okay. Oh, wait, no. You go in the middle. That was going way too fast there. Um, and this is why I usually have the hair pulled back. Um, I love the 80s. So if you're familiar, if you want to, listen to the song. It's by Bowling for Soup. And it's called 1985. I love that song. That is one, when it comes on in my band, I crank it up. I love that one. I like doing the snake. The snake's easy. <laughs> so I got one, two, three, so one, two, and three. Okay, so now I gotta do these ones. But I do, I love the 80s. I, mean, I don't care what people say. I, that was some of my funnest time. That was probably before, you know, before kids, before adulthood. Maybe that's why it was so much fun. The music. Oh my God, the music. So much better. And I do. I listen to mostly, mostly 80s. I have a few, few songs here and there that I, I listen to. If I'm listening to Five Finger Death Punch, <laughs> I'm either working out or I'm having a bad day between that. What was the other one? There was one that my daughter introduced me to. I'm not familiar with their name. Limp Biscuit. That's what it is. Probably one of the few songs of theirs that I actually like. And um, Breaking Stuff. I, I love this one. There were times I would be at work and that one would be playing rather loud. So my taste in music is all over the place. Okay, so I'm just going to go through. A lot of this is probably going to get cut out in editing, but I'm just going to keep going. So I'm, I'm debating asking for suggestions on things that you guys would like to see me craft. Um, it can't be anything where I need to be outside, give me a blowtorch, uh, welding 
stuff. Um, it's, it, it, it needs to be stuff I can do here. I mean, I could probably do stuff in the kitchen. I don't mind the kitchen. The kitchen and I don't get along. We haven't for years, and I really don't cook. I've actually, I've actually got some conversations recorded where me and a couple of friends are talking about uh, food and either how to cook things or how we like to cook things or and um, that'll be for another time this isn't too bad this is kind of kind of nice i suggest stick with the snake the snake's pretty good i don't mind the snake this is going well better than i thought i am melting I, I am so hot right now. I cranked the fan up a little higher. <sighs> Every now and then I look down and it's just like I can't, I can't focus. You know, I want to adjust my glasses. Can't do that. But, uh. But yeah, because I kind of have an, a hard time sometimes finding stuff, and I've, I've, I've got some ideas going, but again, I need somebody to you know, kind of help me, so we'll, um, we'll stay. Woohoo! I'm almost to the head. Okay, stay. And where you think you're going. Two, three. Okay. This is almost like when I did. <laughs> friendship bracelets, or as I was calling them, my knots of friendship, because they are never ending and they won't come undone. I like that. I've been tempted to make make some to sell. I should probably should call them gins. I should probably do them all, all while I'm drunk and and then sell them at, I mean, because they look like hell. Um, do the, uh, yeah, sell them as knots, knots of, Jen's knots of friendship. Stop running away from me, damn it. Ah! <laughs> you just came in here. Oh my gosh. You know what? I have. God, I'd probably stab myself with it. I really would. <gasps> no, nope, hold them. But stop it. Why? Why are you going to be so difficult? You know, sometimes it does help to talk to the items. Oh, wrong one. <gasps> God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, next one I'm using, I'm getting the plastic. Crap. Using that. Ah, it shouldn't be this hard. It was, okay, so I don't know how many of you watch Stranger Things. Oh my God, I love that show. And it causes me such anxiety watching it. And my son usually gets farther ahead on it than I do. I tend to be several episodes behind him because I'm waiting for my husband to come home and I watch it with him because I can't, I don't, I don't do gore. I don't mind suspenseful. So, but yeah, as we know, Stranger Things has all of that. Okay, and then this one. Okay. But, uh, oh my gosh, that show. Oh, there was something I was going to say about it too. Now I can't remember. It's gone. That show just, oh my God. A friend and I were talking about it. We're trying to talk another friend into watching it. It's like, oh my God, you have to watch the show. It is it really is good and I feel it can't end it's it's not allowed to it just it can't I so love that show I love love the characters they they did good 
and pairing these kids up and they have such good chemistry together. I love Dustin. Steve with Steve. He's adorable. I just wish they would wash his hair. Wash it, blow dry it. He, his hair always looks greasy. And it's just, it's driving me nuts. It's like, he could be so gorgeous if they would just do something with that hair. Okay, there's that one. This is like operation. But you want it to touch. Get in there, okay. But I mean, just just everything that they have about the 80s. And those of you, if you weren't around for the 80s, when they talk about the um, Dungeons and Dragons, the game being, you know, it's, it's the start of a cult and they're doing actual rituals and stuff, that really went on. That was really said. I remember I was fifth, I was fifth grade when I first heard people talking about d and I knew what it was. I knew it was a game. I knew that it had absolutely nothing to do with the cults and stuff. But, oh, I think a couple of the beads must have wandered off because I'm short. Short. Two, three, okay. But, um, but yeah, that, that stuff really, people were that crazy against d and I mean, it, it, it was. It was ridiculous. I didn't start playing d and I was 20, 20, 21. It was after I met my husband and his friends. His friends liked to play. I never knew anybody in school that played d and Okay, I've almost got this done. Oh my gosh! Ooh. <laughs> One and two. This really isn't that bad. I'm gonna have to. Oh, try one of the other ones. Oh, I hear Carter outside. He's not in. Oh, no, no, not that. Because. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Close to the end. We're almost there. I can get this. Easy. Easy. Please, Doctor, just one more suture. Sorry, I have a weird L song going through my head. Um, dog eat dog. Where's my liquid paper? Where's my liquid paper? Better watch out. It's dog eat dog. Ta da! I got my steak done. <laughs> Okay, and then I do the easy part. Ta-da! And then, okay, so it shows uh, that I could take some glue or something to the end. But you know what? We'll say, him. does it just burn or will it actually? Nope. Ah, ha, ha, ha. there we go. I mean, at least it keeps it from fraying. It won't keep it from untying, but it'll keep it from fraying. So this is just something you could take and hang on the edge of your own. Oh, oh, now. No, sad. I, I can feel them percolating. <laughs> So I know that they're getting ready to come, but it's like they all, they all want to converge at once. And it's like, no, <laughs> oh, stop. So, all right, we made it through. All right. I like that. I like this. This is actually quite relaxing. I, I like this. I want to do this again. I don't know that I want to do the frog. I might do more snakes because they're easy. So, something else I can make and sell. I don't know. We'll see. I should, I should try and make one of my hats. So, I, I had a crazy idea. 
this one is mine. This one will forever be mine. But this one I made with all the little pumpkins. Oh, the feathers are more in the back, aren't they? They kind of, well, it's kind of inside. I was having a hard time. These are buttons, and I glued the buttons on. Apparently, if you're going to stitch them on anything, you go through their eyes and their mouth or something or off on the corner. I don't, I don't know. There's no actual button holes to stitch them through. So, I got some others, but this one, this one's one of my, it's one of my favorites. It was one of those that was just going through my head at night, and I was looking at this, I got this big old bag of buttons, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with that? And then the more I was playing with them, like, you know, in my head, in my head, oh my gosh, there, there are some, some things I get so sick of that I don't, I just want to get it done and be done with it because I, uh, I've done it so many times in my head. I'm putting it together. I'm like, mm, no, that's not going to work. And then I'll do it this way. And it's like, oh, that might work. Oh, wait, but how am I going to do it? Mm, nope, scrap. So there are times, you know, when I get stuck on something, it just runs through my head. So if I'm ever having a conversation with you, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, it, it, it was playing in the background, and it figured itself out. And it's like, hey, notification. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you for coming back thank you for waiting ever so patiently on me i appreciate it we should be every saturday at noon from here on out and like i said i do have some different things planned but please let me know if there's certain crafts you would like me to try or maybe even if it's something i've already done but you want me to try it a different way or um just something different. I mean, the VW van back there, I, I got to try another one. So there's, there's different cars that they have. I'm going to have to look into those. And I am looking into something with Legos. So we'll see. We'll see what all, what all decides to, to come about. So have a good week and we'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Mm, bye.